This is big. This is not just big, it's huge. How huge? 16 billion dollar huge. 16 billion in terms of the crypto market. Now the SEC is suing Paxos, New York based Paxos, for issuing BUSD, for helping Binance to issue the BUSD stablecoin. So the SEC, the US regulator, the Securities and Exchange Commission, headed by Gary Gensler, is saying that Paxos did something illegal by issuing BUSD for Binance. And so Paxos is not allowed anymore to issue any more BUSD. So this is what we are looking at. This is the BUSD stablecoin. It's a backbone basically of the Binance Smart Chain of all the DeFi that's going on within Binance. And so this is going to continue to just go down. These 16 billion that are now apparently in Paxos's bank accounts, they will be redeemed over time. The BUSD will stop being in existence. And so what's happening now? It's interesting. CZ has just answered to this whole situation. He has started a Twitter thread 21 minutes ago and he has explained what he's considering what will happen with all of this. So let's go through this. In summary, BUSD is issued and redeemed by Paxos, right? And funds are safe. We were informed by Paxos they have been directed to cease minting new BUSD, so to get new fiat money converted to BUSD by the New York Department of Financial Services. Paxos is regulated by that department. So BUSD is a stablecoin wholly owned and managed by Paxos. This was an open secret, right? You knew that whenever you were trading BUSD, you were actually not trusting Binance, you were trusting Paxos. Paxos, by the way, has also another altcoin, which is relatively popular, which is PAXG. So that's a gold packed stablecoin. So you might also consider potentially getting out of that, right? So who knows what the SEC is going to do as a result of all of this. So here, as a result, BUSD market cap will only decrease over time. We'll go down from those 16 billion and Paxos will continue to service the product, meaning it will manage redemptions. So apparently, right, let's all touch wood that it's really one to one backed as it's claimed to be backed. Um, all these 16 billion will in the end leave Paxos's accounts. And so Paxos also assured that all the funds are safe and are fully covered by reserves in their banks, with their reserves being audited many times by various audit firms. So this is what the head, the CEO of Binance is saying. On the alleged SEC versus Paxos lawsuit, I have no information about it other than public news articles. The lawsuit is between the US SEC and Paxos. Now, I'm not sure how much I should actually believe this since these are $16, right? Uh, $16 billion. This is no small pocket change here. And CZ even roughly a year back or so decided to convert all of the stable coins on its centralized platform like USDT, etc. All these stable coins, they were converted to BUSD. So the trading pairs were then not anymore with Tether, for example, but with BUSD. So obviously Binance does have a strong uh, cooperation with Paxos and has a strong confidence in Paxos. And so I'd be very surprised when something that big is happening, right? When the main stablecoin of Binance might fizzle out or implode for that matter, who knows what happens, that they don't have any kind of strong, that like the, the, the wires are not running really hot, right? There must be calls happening and this is not believable. I have no information about the lawsuit. Of course he does, but he simply doesn't disclose this. So this is somewhat critical. And then he's, you know, referring to another influencer by, 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 by all the imagination, right? That Miles Deutscher, he isn't, he has some kind of a following, but still, right? Why would he talk about the opinion of another YouTuber when he should have actually all the insights about this? And obviously the idea, like what Miles here is saying is simply that it, that, the SEC claiming that BUSD is a security doesn't make sense because when you have a security, you should have to pass the Howey test. And one of the Howey test criteria is that you buy something with the expectation of profit. But we have something that's one to one linked with a stable coin, right? You're not really expecting profit whatsoever, right? You simply just want to transfer your fiat to crypto. So it does violate one of those 
principles, right? You don't have an expectation of profit. This is what Myers is saying, and this is what also CZ is now quoting. But this is not really <laughs> this is not really what we are interested in, right? We are interested in the details that CZ has that we don't, but this he's obviously not willing to disclose. So the threat goes on, if BUSD is ruled as a security by the courts, it will have profound impacts on how the crypto industry will develop or not develop in the jurisdictions where it is ruled as such. And I do agree with this. If BUSD is ruled as being illegal, then a lot of other stable coins will be ruled as that. That's the same thing. All DeFi will basically collapse. And what's important here is that whatever the US is doing is very likely going to be followed by most parts of the Western world as well. And China is already pretty anti-crypto. So kind of saying it's going to be a problem in those jurisdictions, it kind of <laughs> implies it's maybe just a US problem. Or probably this will migrate very, very far if the SEC really pushes through this. And it seems like they're very serious about this. Next point, Binance will continue to support BUSD for the foreseeable future. We do foresee users migrating to other stablecoins over time, and we will make product adjustments accordingly. For example, moving away from using BUSD as the main pair for trading, right? The thing that they just rolled out a year ago, roughly. And so last point, given the ongoing regulatory uncertainty in certain markets, we will be reviewing other projects in those jurisdictions to ensure our users are insulated from any undue harm. Very official kind of statement, right? We will be very cautious, etc. But I don't really buy everything that he's uh, posting over here. He's probably sweating very, very hard. He's talking a lot with Paxos. And if DeFi becomes pretty much illegal because physically backed stable coins become illegal because they're not registered with the SEC, then we've got a really, really big problem. And this is a big pro This is a $16 billion thing, right? And this is pure hard money, probably, right? This is different to, um, say, Bitcoin, right? You've got all these billions and billions and up to a trillion in terms of market cap. Um, these 16 billion here are way more important than just this relation to say a trillion dollar market cap. Because when you buy, when you use these 16 billion and you buy cryptocurrency from this, the cryptocurrency prices will go up more than that. You've got a leverage effect, right? When you put a thousand dollar in an altcoin, the altcoin market cap goes up by more than a thousand dollars, right? So simply because of that, these $16, if they simply just exit the whole system, if they all go into fiat and they will never come back into crypto, this will obviously also have a spillover effect to the prices of crypto as a whole, of Bitcoin, of Ethereum, and obviously of BNB. BNB is probably going to get hit the hardest from all of this. I personally, I have sold my BNB just recently. And yeah, this is the reason, right? So get out take all your risk of Binance, take all your risk of the Binance margin, at least as much as you can. Uh, this is bad news. And so far, CZ is playing it very small. Um, I don't think this will be everything that he's going to talk about. There will be more follow-up threats for sure. Let's simply hope that not everything is going to implode into infinity and Binance goes bankrupt as well. If that's the case, then we really only have uh, pure Bitcoin left and that's about it. All of DeFi, all of Web3 is pretty much then in a, in a very dark period for a prolonged period of time. Let's see what happens. Feel free to join our Telegram group. There is a Telegram channel, Bitcoin Strategy channel. The link is down here. So looking forward to see you there. We discuss the topic as we go along and we also share new updates whenever they come, right? So if you want to be really on pulse of the time, feel free to join us in Telegram and we share whatever we have. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.